Mestizo is actually uh, being like, the, is the fact of being uh, a mixed culture and John Paul Taylor believe is that when you're mixed, right. that culture is in Greek. This is Juana Ringling, Juanita Ringling. Ringling. I love your last name, it's so fun to pronounce. So welcome to the zoo, it's great to have you here, you know what to do, right? Yeah, I have to sit down yes, with you at exactly. the same time. Exactly. That's it? One, One two, two, three. three. Wow. Wow. Okay. I did you it did before. it. You did it already. I did it before. That was a ringling, a ringling version. I like that. Now, it, Juanita or Juana, what do you prefer? <coughs> it's the same for me. I'm like the you Actually, know... my closest friend called me Juan. Juan? So, Juan. Well, we're not that close yet. And, yeah. But no, I won't call you Juan. You're too beautiful for me to call you Juan. <laughs> but I'm the same way with my name, Umberto. Some people call me Umbi. I'm not, I don't care. If, you, if I know you're talking to me, it's, yeah, it's fine. Exactly. Before we get into all the things that you do, because you do, you're you're an actress, uh, you know, you're a filmmaker, you do stuff on YouTube with travel. We got to get into your last name because I asked you before we started shooting, are you related to the Ringling Brothers Circus? And you said, I am. She is. Isn't that crazy? I, I am. But I Whoa. actually, I think basically back, back in the days when they came from Germany, a branch of the family came here and the other one came all the way down to Chile. So, wow. Yes. But we are. Those, I mean, that's part them? of yeah. my childhood. Really? <laughs> Yeah, the Ringling Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Circus, right? yeah. I, Did you, I, have you ever been? No, but they they shot down like last year. Thank yeah, God. Right, I mean, no the offense to the yes. family, but yes. thank God, circus. I'm anti-circus, but when yeah. I was little, I was probably She's five or so. But circus without animals are great. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the ones with the animals. Yeah. yeah. She's um, acrobatics and stuff I love. Um, but yeah, but I used to go to the Ringling Brothers. Uh, really? Funciones y shows. Yeah, when I was little in Mexico, please. It was like the thing to do on the weekends when you were little. That's wow. awesome. Yeah, you... before I knew they were being like... Mean. Very, very <laughs> mean. She's not, yeah, Peter's not the biggest fan of your ancestors, but um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your, what you're working on. As I mentioned, you, you do a lot of different stuff, but what are you working on now? Um, so currently I'm working on a documentary. We, um, we're filming in New Mexico, in this tiny little town called Mesilla, uh, which was, used to be like Mexican and from here and Mexican again. So it's like these kind of little towns that are always in between and they, at the end they have their own identity of we are who we are. Wow. And we are a mix and that's great. So in the middle of this town, there is this um, incredible family, an incredible man uh, called John Paul Taylor. Um, he's 98 Whoa. and he lives in this beautiful adobe house and he has the most amazing collection of uh, art and art craft and pottery and textile and everything from like indigenous and Mexican and Spaniards and from a lot of different cultures. So through that collection, we are um, telling his story and the story of this town. Mm, and all the cultures that come together, because I know in New Mexico, there, there really is exactly. old world Spain, the indigenous people that were there uh, uh, beforehand, and, and, and it's been preserved. I don't know if the desert, I think the desert has uh, preserves culture, I don't know. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> in some sense it could, but also it's like, I think the proud of being a mestizo, yeah. which this man and this family really like carry that on, um, preserve culture. Mm -hmm. And w when we start working in this documentary, I'm working with, a, mm -hmm. with two friends, um, we were like, mestizo. Wait, how do you say that in English? Yeah. There's no word. Well, no, you say mestizo. So that's true. Yeah. There's no word. There is a word that is half blood. Right. But yeah, half blood not, is not no, no, no. positive. Yeah, it's like, no. you're missing the other half yeah. then. Yeah, it's like derogatory. Like, it is, yeah, right? Yeah. So mestizo is actually uh, being like, the, is the fact of being uh, a mixed culture and John Paul Taylor believe is that when you're mixed, right. that culture is enriched. Right. And he... Yeah, because you're fusing two cultures together well, to... Mes and that is better. You're yeah. bringing... So specifically, you're specifically adding. Spanish and indigenous. Not necessarily. No, it doesn't Not, have to be that? No. It yeah. could be European and... I, well, from my understanding has always been... I mean, I thought it was specifically Spain and indigenous, but it's European and indigenous mix. Yes, but nowadays you can say mestizo because we use it a lot, like as right. Spanish speakers. Mm -hmm. And like the lesser version of the definition of mestizo is basically a mix of right. cultures put mm -hmm. together. So basically the whole continent, we are mestizos, right? right? right. Um, and I was like, wait, now I understand why like people here in the States are like, where are you from? No, I'm from here. 
Yeah. Now, but man, we're all from all over the world. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. You, okay, you were born here in this place yeah. in this city, but your blood is from all over. But people is not really related with that heritage. Mm -hmm. so, so this is like w the documentary will pay attention to this yeah, part of... Yeah, and, and they're proud of being mestizo because John Paul it. Taylor is super white right. and John Paul Taylor, yeah. come on. But he um, called himself uh, Hispano because mm -hmm. his mother was uh, Romero, Margarita Romero, and he's, he's really like uh, kind of Hispanic and his house is a adobe house with like full of these treasures of, of, of like Hispanic and Mexicans, indigenous communities. Yeah. And he, he really, through his collection, his memories, his family, is like an example of uh, the mixed cultures make us better. Is the documentary nice. called Mestizo? Probably. Okay. Now, how did you come to this story? Because I know you do a lot of traveling, you've done stuff on YouTube, and you've been a host of, of, of that, those kind of you know, travel shows. Mm -hmm. Did any of that lead you to this story, or was this a personal... Yeah, how'd you find this guy? Um. <laughs> 98. Yeah, Actually, you've been all over the place. Yes, but this was through something really different, because I, I went to New Mexico, because a friend of mine works in the very north of my country in this organization, Fundación Altiplano, mm. and they've been working with Adobe for a long time. So I went with him to see what was uh, Cornerstone, this organization that works with Adobe doing there. And the first night, um, he said, we're sleeping, we're, we're staying in, in my friend's house, and I slept in this Adobe house with this wow. old man. And oh, impresionante. Yeah. Como me levanté esa mañana y lo veo a él, 98 años, and I was like, and he, his brain is, I mean, is top notch. I mean, he's. I don't know. I felt, I felt that I was like, really? Yeah. Like he was like he he remembers like uh, like the name of the flower that he picked up when he Whoa. was five, and I was like. I don't even remember what you I did yesterday. That's like on my top three. I okay. am dying to go to Chile. Dying. Come on, you I have think a it's one now. of the most beautiful. <laughs> yes, I, th I think it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. I really do. Oye, follow our official show page for new episodes, updates, exclusive and inclusive material you're only going to get on the zoo on Facebook Watch.